In this episode, we take a look at timecode, demonstrate how it works, and in this case, specifically look at the Deity TC1. Now, first of all, what is timecode and why would you want to use it? Timecode allows you to record your cameras and audio recorder separate from each other and sync the video and audio clips in post automatically. For it to work, you must record timecode to each camera and audio recorder, but most cameras and consumer grade audio recorders do not have clocks that are accurate enough, so you generally need external timecode generators. These are small boxes with highly accurate clocks that you connect to your cameras and audio recorder. The Deity TC1 is an example of a timecode generator. A timecode generator keeps time in the form of hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. That's it, really simple. The hard part is that every camera and audio recorder you use in your filming sessions needs to be perfectly in sync with the exact same timecode value at any given moment in time for the automatic sync and post to work. TC1 ensures that each of your cameras and audio recorders will be in sync with the others. Now, before filming, you need to sync all the generators to the same time and frame. This is called jamming or jam syncing. With the TC1, you can use the free Citus Audio app on iOS or Android to jam all of your TC1s to the exact same time and frame wirelessly. Or, if you prefer, you can always do it via cable the old school way. Once they're all jammed at the same time, you then attach a TC1 to each of your cameras and audio recorders, and you keep them attached through the entire shoot. And the purpose of this is so that each device has an accurate clock recording the time code for every video and every audio clip that you record. In this case, we filmed with two cameras, a GH5 and a GH5S. I first connected a TC1 to each of my cameras and then one to my sound device's Mix Pre audio recorder. I used the app to set the frame rate of my project, in this case, 23.976 frames per second, and then I jam synced the TC1s, and then we're ready to film. Now, one question I get a lot is, do I have to keep these connected to my camera through the entire filming session? And the simple answer is yes. If you want the sync and post to be fully automatic, yes, you need to do that. Now, the answer is actually more complex, but the general idea is that most cameras, even expensive cinema cameras, we're talking even things like an Arri Alexa, don't have clocks that are accurate enough to stay in sync. So if you just jam sync them and then remove the time code generator, they're gonna drift and they won't be perfectly in sync in post. Then once I've downloaded all the footage and audio clips, I import them all into DaVinci Resolve. Make sure the frame rate of your project is the same frame rate in which you recorded. If you recorded timecode to a camera's audio input, that is to say, it wasn't a dedicated timecode input, it was actually a microphone input, then there's one step you need to do before syncing, and that is to convert the audio recorded timecode to metadata timecode. In the media page, select and right click on clips recorded to this camera and choose update timecode from audio track. Then, in Resolve, you can highlight all of your video and audio clips from the multicam filming session right-click and choose Create New Multicam Clip using Selected Clips. Choosing this option brings up a pop-up menu. The most important setting here is that you need to change the angle sync and set it to time code. And then I would recommend you change the angle name to Metadata Camera. Then you can place your new synced multicam clip in the timeline of the edit window and edit and switch between cameras from there. So there are lots of other tutorials on YouTube walking through exactly how to do the multicam edit from there, but that's the general idea. So that's how time code works. Now, let's talk specifically about the TC1 from Deity. I'm gonna run through the pros and cons and what I like about it and a couple of things that I wish were a little bit different. First up, the TC1 has a reported accuracy of 0.5 ppm, which means that it shouldn't drift more than one frame for every 72 hours of operation. That's very, very good. And in fact, we ran ours for 14 hours and 44 minutes, and we were exactly in sync across all three of the TC1s that we have. So seems to be tracking that way, certainly accurate enough. That would get you through an entire production day. If you're working longer than 14 hour production days, you need to join the union because that is way too long to be working on a daily basis. The TC1 has an internal lithium polymer battery, 
powers the device. They say for up to 28 hours in our tests, we found with a two hour charge time via USB, we were able to get over 24 hours and 44 minutes. So definitely tracking to that 28, pretty close. In any case, that should get you through two full production days. Again, if you're working production days longer than about 12 hours, you need some help. The internal lithium polymer battery is charged via the USB-C port on the bottom of the unit, and it takes about two hours to charge it up. It is an internal battery. If it ever goes bad, stops charging, then get in touch with Deity, and I believe they should be able to replace that for you. There's a one inch OLED display. So the nice thing about an OLED display is it's generally viewable in almost all lighting situations. Even outdoors, you may have to kind of move it around a little bit, but it's better than a lot of other displays. So definitely viewable in most lighting situations. As I mentioned before, you can sync via wireless on the mobile app and the mobile app runs on both iOS and Android. And you can do it the old school way. If you prefer to use a cable between devices, say for example, a TC1 and your audio recorder or TC1 and another TC1 to jam them that way, you can do that as well. You can connect these wirelessly. They can generate up to a network of 20 TC1s at one time if you're working on a production where you have 20 time code generators. I wish you all the best. That sounds incredibly complex, but it is possible. And you can also break those into multiple groups. So for example, if you have two crews working in fairly close proximity, you can set each group to its own group assignment, and then that way they won't interfere with each other. There is a locking 3.5 millimeter TRS port. That's how you output timecode from the TC1 into your cameras or audio recorder. You can change the settings on the TC1 either using the dial on the top here that allows you to change the settings directly on the unit itself. There are also different modes depending on the particular setup that you're using. You can set one of your timecode generators to master mode, and that is to say, anytime you connect another TC1 to it, the master one will be the one from which the jam comes. In other words, that is the master clock and everything else will jam to it. Or you can also set it to auto jam mode so it'll jam from another device if you connect it to that or even do it wirelessly. And then finally, there's also a jam and lock mode so that it won't get changed accidentally wirelessly while you're using it. Again, we talked about different groups. You can call them channels as well. You can break them up into eight different groups if you want to or eight different channels. Uh, via 2.4 gigahertz and there's a max range of about 30 feet on that so that is really again useful if you're running multiple crews in fairly close proximity to each other there is also a built-in omnidirectional scratch audio mic and the idea with this is that when you use the tc1 with a mirrorless camera for example and you're outputting time code via the 3.5 millimeter output into a microphone input on the camera the way this works is it sends the time code signal to the left channel Usually the 3.5 millimeter inputs are stereo inputs. So time code to the left channel and it sends the audio from the scratch mic to the right channel. So if for some reason something goes wrong with your time code setup and you do need that scratch audio, you've still got it. So you can use that to sync in the absolute worst case scenario. The TC1 uses a Bluetooth 5 radio, so it has a range of up to 250 feet. As a time code generator, of course, it uses all of the SMPTE time code frame rate options that are available up to 30 frames per second. So I sometimes get questions, hey, can this support 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second? And the answer is SMPTE time code doesn't have that in its specification yet, but this does support up to 30. So if you are planning to do a lot of shooting at 50 or 60, I would hold off until the SMPTE specification is updated to support 50 and 60 frame per second. Now, mounting a time code generator to a camera is always a little bit of a challenge, but Deity has made it really easy here. There is hook and loop tape built into the back of the unit itself. It does come with a cold shoe mount, uh, and you can just pull that off with the hook and loop tape. And it also comes with some adhesive hook and loop tape, so you can attach that to your camera rig. For example, if you wanted to attach it to a camera cage or something like that, that makes it very easy to attach it to the camera rig and keep it in a place that's out of the way and attached to the camera throughout the entire shoot. It also has a quarter 20 and 3 8 inch adapter on the bottom, so you can also attach it that way. You can buy individual TC1s or you can buy them in a kit with three. In the kit with three, you also get a few cables. You get a 3.5 millimeter locking to 3.5 millimeters, so that's gonna be mainly for mirrorless cameras. You get one for the Arri Alexa Mini. 
And then you also get another one that's a 3.5 millimeter locking to BNC. This is going to be things like the Canon C70 or the Blackmagic Ursa Mini, other things like that. And also use this in this case, for example, with my sound devices Mix Pre 10. Also comes with a cable for charging in the kit of three. It's a USB-A to three USB-C, so you can attach to a single USB-A port and charge all three of them at the same time. There is a warranty of two years and an additional six months if you register the device with Deity. And then in terms of pricing, they come in at $169 US for each of them, or $549 for a kit of three, along with the three output cables. So you might think, oh my gosh, that's really expensive. Well, actually, as far as time code generators go, that's actually one of the least expensive, high quality time code generators I've seen on the market yet. And some people are gonna say, I know it. Gosh, it seems like someone could make one for cheaper than that. Well. The accuracy of the clock is paramount, and that's the part that's expensive. It does include a crystal oscillator that's temperature compensated. So it's a temperature compensated crystal oscillator. It's a very high quality clock that maintains its accuracy across a wide range of temperatures. And that's the tricky part, and that's why there's a bit more cost to them than, you know, a clock that you would buy from Walmart. Now, as far as cons or things that you need to know, a couple things. Number one, it is an inbuilt lithium polymer battery, so if it stops charging at some point in the future for some reason, you probably would need to send it into Deity to get that replaced. When you buy the kit of three, it only comes with one, this is not really a con, this is really super nitpicky, but it only comes with one 3.5 millimeter locking to 3.5 millimeter. So if you are working mainly with mirrorless cameras, you're gonna need to buy a couple of these cables, but they're fairly affordable. Probably the biggest thing that's important to keep in mind, if you are working with mirrorless cameras or any sort of camera that doesn't have a dedicated time code input, this is something important to know. Cameras, cinema cameras in particular, or electronic news gathering cameras, cameras that are typically used for news and TV, usually have a dedicated time code input. And what that does is that when you connect something like the TC1 to that dedicated time code input, the time code, every time you start recording, is automatically embedded in the metadata of that new video clip that you're recording. That makes it super easy in post. You literally bring that clip in, you bring the audio in from your audio recorder, you right click and choose sync by a time code and they are ready to go. If on the other hand, you're working with a mirrorless camera or other sort of consumer grade camera that does not have a dedicated time code input, what you do is you connect the output of the TC1 to the microphone input on the camera. And so it records a time code tone on the audio track. And it sounds a little something like this. Now, when you get into post, you need to convert that audio time code so that it's embedded as metadata in the video file. And so there's a, an extra step you have to do. And you can do that for free in DaVinci Resolve. It's very easy, straightforward, and it works very well. The trick is, is if you don't use DaVinci Resolve, <laughs> Final Cut, Premiere, don't support that. They don't support converting audio timecode into metadata timecodes. So you're gonna need some other app to do that for you. There is a really good app on the market, but it's not cheap. And it comes from another company that makes timecode generators, namely Tentacle Sync. It's probably my favorite app for timecode management, um, but it is, last time I checked, well over $100 US for a license, unless you buy one of the timecode generators from Tentacle Sync itself. So. Just something to keep in mind if you are working in Premiere or you are working in Final Cut, you're gonna need another app to do that conversion again if you're using a camera that does not have a dedicated time code input. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.